time now to sort out the top of the order in the compound women's individual discipline here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 1 in Antalya as we go for gold. And it's time to meet the contenders. On target number two, representing Colombia, Sarah Lopez. <laughs> and the lion for this match is Noah Lynn Churchill. So here we go. Sara Lopez from Colombia is 27 years old and the world number three going up against Jyoti Sireka Venom from India, the world number 11 and 26 years old. Venom has never won a stage on the Hyundai Archery World Cup Series. Sara Lopez is a seven times final champion. But at the moment, we have to say the form is with the Indian. It's time to go for gold here in Antalya. I'm going to say it, Chef. Good sighter. An even better one at that. <laughs> So I think um, we cannot really uh, speak about Jyoti being a fluke in any way, uh, but if there was any discussion, I think she might be able to end all of that today. Uh, she already beat the world number one, she equaled the world record. Um, the only thing she still uh, kind of needs or wants to do right now, I think, is to get that very much coveted World Cup stage win that she's uh, looking for for so long now. It's a great start from Venom, as we have come to expect. But look at this at full draw. How did Lopez recover from that? I think that's not the first time she's gone through this. But she keeps a smile on her face, which is, like I mentioned before, very important. Uh, don't dwell on the past. Um, don't play it off either. You, you don't want to try to fool yourself into believing anything. But I think she she knows what it takes to uh, to win. <laughs> I think she does know what it takes to win. But she's had some uh, wobbly moments after the past 12 months, which she's talked about openly. But the thing about her is despite some low scores by her very, very high standards, she always seems to make it through to the final four, and then she knows how to win from there. Yeah, um, like I said before already, uh, I think she has 43 World Cup stage medals uh, all combined, so that is ludicrous. <laughs> yes, a good word, ludicrous indeed. And there's that massive twitch on the third arrow. What's caused that? Um, I think she might have a little bit of a, a struggle with her um, uh, release hand. Um, some would probably label it as a like target panic kind of thing. Um, there's many shapes and, and things of, uh, of target panic, but uh, she's talked about it before, how she has dealt with it. And um, there's people that say you never really get rid of target panic, but... Um, but I think she is she's mentally strong enough to at least get through it and, and to deal with it in a, in a sufficient manner. Perfect from uh, Jyoti. 
a longer hold than what we're used to seeing from her, but she had one of those in the earlier, in the, the first round as well. And um, she seems to be okay with it. She seems to, uh, even if she has little time, know how to make a good shot in uh, you know, a condensed time frame. So I don't think she's too stressed about it right now. Um, Sarah seems relatively relaxed as well. Uh, she shot a nine, but she immediately adjusted her sight and just went for the next arrow. So I think it's uh, it's going okay. They've set a high standard here in the compound competition in Antalya. They have, yeah. They're, we have some, seen some some crazy scores uh, in qualification, but also in elimination, um, and also in in mixed team and in in team rounds, we've seen very high scores. Um, Take, for instance, the uh, gold medal match in mixed team for compound, uh, where uh, Jyoti Venom, the, the same Jyoti Venom that we're now watching, um, shot eight arrows into the 10, of which seven were X's. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse. <laughs> it is a high bar they're setting here in Antalya, that is for sure. First drop point from Sara Lopez with the second arrow in their number two. But well, that's the only point dropped so far between the pair of them in this gold medal contest. It's... Um, it's difficult to explain how high of a score uh, they're actually scoring uh, for somebody who's not really familiar with archery. Um, they're shooting at a distance of 50 meters, and they're shooting at uh, a tendering that's that's essentially the same size as, let's say, the opening of your coffee cup. So it's uh, it's eight centimeters across, and uh, they're shooting at 50 meters of distance and, and only one nine has been shot so far. Nine. Okay, two nines have been shot so far. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you say it, but yeah, the quality is uh, outstanding. Absolutely, totally impressive. Nine. First drop points for Joji Sereka Venom, a 29 from her. So still uh, just a point in this one. So Sarah must be thinking, okay, okay. So there's a little crack in the armor. Um, so all is not lost, I would imagine. Here's a question for you. Um, we've often talked about Sarah Lopez and the speed at which she gets the, the arrow out of the bow. So the process is very short from start to finish, piling pressure on your opponent. Venom definitely has a much longer process and a longer hold at full draw. So how much does um, you know your your fitness matter in a, in a match like this against Lopez? Um, it's a good question, but I think um, physical fitness uh, or or bow fitness, um, shooting condition, whatever you want to call it, I think that's not really the issue in. Uh, matches like these because typically on trainings these archers will shoot a couple hundred arrows after each other um, whereas now they shoot 15 and then they go back to the practice range maybe shoot a couple ends of six or a couple ends of three and then they shoot 15 again so they will not be fatigued in their shoulders or in their arms unless it's really windy or if they have to wait really long or if it's really cold and they they have to you know be all stiff and um, i don't think physical like fatigue will uh, be a matter in this uh, match. And number four, two points dropped by uh, Lopez, just the one by Venom here. We look back at some of the scores that uh, these two have shot, 145 for Venom, 147 and a 148 in the semi-final victory over Gibson. Nine. Lopez, by contrast, through the competition, has, well, she, she won the semi-final, 146, that's a great score. Got the same in the uh, quarterfinals, but a 141 in the round before that, and uh, enough, it was enough for a shooter. Yeah, I, I, like I said before, I don't know if it was really windy or um, uh, if it was just like very tense or 
but sometimes you shoot a lower score and uh, this was an uncharacteristic uh, low score for Sarah but she still manages to get the win and, and move on so back to the perfects for Jyoti Sareka Venom she's setting the benchmark this season I know this is only the f f first World Cup but we've had some some other events in the build up to this World Cup but this this level from Venom is I don't think I've seen it before, apart from with Gibson and, and perhaps uh, Lopez as well. Yeah, we've seen uh, we've seen some similar stuff uh, in in the past. We've uh, had uh, Christina Berger or um, uh, maybe Erica Jones or, or Sarah Sunnikson, but uh, not as convincingly as we've seen her shoot today. I feel um, it just feels so effortless and so easy for her. But that's not right off Sara Lopez from Colombia. She knows what it takes to win. She is training by two provisionally. We're just waiting for that confirmation to come through. I think perhaps that first arrow from Venom in that last end may be the one that's taking its time to be measured. I think it might have been marked down to a nine. Doesn't look as happy as you might think she would. No, th th she's uh, leading the gold medal match in a World Cup stage, but she still uh, she looks as if there is something left to be desired. Yet yeah, she's not going to be satisfied until she gets her first ever World Cup win. She's in pole position to do it, but I can confirm, according to our scoring charts, Jyoti Sareka's first. 10 of that previous end was marked down oh no it has just been officially marked back up so we should have a two point difference between these two a 119 plays a 117 Lopez from Colombia needs to fight back right from the start which he does in rapid fashion <laughs> She wasn't pleased with that shot, but it's it's very close to the X-ring even. So I wonder what was wrong with it or. Well, there was a bit of twitching there from Lopez. You could see it full draw. The door has really opened wide now for Venom from India. <laughs> Grouping is fantastic, and that takes a bit of pressure off the final arrow. Lopez will want to put this into the 10 just to add a little bit of spice to it and she does indeed finishing with a 146 but as you can see Venom only needs the 8 for her first ever stage win. She's clipped it on the line for another perfect score and a 149 out of a possible 150 is more than enough for Jyoti Sareka, Venom's first ever Hyundai Archery World Cup stage win here in Antalya. And with it, she books her place in the finals at the end of the season.